Well, today's episode of Tips, Tricks, and Tweaks is going to be a little different from the usual. It's absolutely storming outside, and I don't feel like putting these on vans. So we're going to talk about your grill conversion options for your T1N Sprinter. Now there are two varieties available. They both let you sport your Sprinter model badge. And they both sport the big beautiful chrome star. Well this one did before I modified it, but we'll talk about that in a separate video of course. They will both fit without a problem if you have a Dodge Sprinter. However, if you have a Freightliner Sprinter, your headlight trim bezels will have to be upgraded or replaced or deleted or cut the grills to fit. You have a lot of options there. I most commonly see people use this grill and then trim off the sides to fit with Freightliner trim. Now, of course, this grill on the bottom, as you can see, visually looks larger. And that's because this bottom grill, I'm going to call it the slack grill, does not require a trim bezel around it. However, this top grill, it's very easy to buy just this plastic honeycomb grill piece with your sweet looking star and everything, and forget that you need this metal trim piece to go around too. Now this metal trim piece also should be color matched to your van. In our case, it's gonna be Arctic white always. This is the style grill that I installed on Sporty Shorty and it's also what we've got on Blue Saloon. We don't have any vans here at all with this older slat style grill, which I believe came on 2000 to 2003 Sprinters over in Europe. We never got these, of course, in the United States. In 2004, they released this newer honeycomb style grill. Now this honeycomb style grill matches the hood vents. Fun fact, older T1Ns you'll see have slat styled hood vents to match this grill. So there you go. Here's a side by side comparison. Of course, we'll get some side-by-side -side comparisons of them installed on vans. And if you're interested in learning how to make your own glowing star modification like I have, be sure to subscribe because I'll have a video on that soon enough. I've spent a lot of time painstakingly researching these uh, badges here. When you buy them, they will fit without a hitch on this style grill. This is actually the style of grill they're designed for. The arms extend all the way in. There are little clips to have it clip in between the slats. This style grill, some modification is required. As you can see, these flaps don't go into anywhere and really your 316 or 416 depending on if you're a 2500 or a 3500 sprinter, they don't really have anything to go on to and you've got to make some modifications to these clips. And you can see it just kind of pulls but it still attaches here without a problem. Alternatively, you could just cut the 316 part off and just have it say CDI. That's clean too. Me personally, I like the 316. If you're a Sprinter fanatic like I am, then you owe it to yourself to purchase one of these two grill options, try it out for yourself, and enjoy your Sprinter with its original badging. Now the top slanted grill style you can find with and without the star emblem already attached. Pricing varies. I got this top grill piece for about $60 without a Mercedes-Benz emblem. Of course, you can get the standard chrome Mercedes-Benz emblem for it, or you can get creative with it like I did. Now this bottom option is a little more expensive at about $130, but $130 got me everything here. Trim, grill, star, not the 316 badging though. You'll have to find that on your own. Thanks for watching another episode of Tips, Tricks, and Tweaks, guys. Just like Mercedes grills, Florida Van Man has two variations of t-shirts you can buy. Check our description below. I think this will be the favorite. It's a T1N thing with our belt routing diagram on it. Very clean, designed in-house by us, and every shirt you buy directly supports the channel. So thank you. Be sure to check out our other Tips, Tricks, and Tweaks videos. Watch the full playlist, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for when we put these grills on our vans and talk about the differences in installing them.